Um, Liam, why do you feel that result materialised tonight? Same story of um, of the season. Dominate the game. So proud of 99.9% of the game. Moments, we in the box, uh, we're 2-1 up. Um, we can take a shot on, we don't take a shot on. Eight seconds later, the ball's in our net. You know, and that's happened too many times. Too many times for all of our hard work, all of our good play. Some of it was outstanding, was excellent. I'm proud of them. Um, but we just find a way not to win. You know, and that's a really, really disappointing thing. Um, disappointed with a couple of decisions as well. Clear penalty when we're 2-1 up. Clear penalty, might as well have caught the ball. Um, but overall, um, I think not just the game, but the goal that they scored, the second goal they scored, kind of encapsulates our season. All the hard work, all of the good play. Started the second half really, really well. Should have gone 3-1 up, 4-1 up. And then um, we, we're always, because we're chasing the game at 2-2, they're going to have threats in transition. Um, but overall, um, that game pretty much sums up the story of our season. And I imagine the players are relatively feeling the same. Of course they care. They showed they showed it on the pitch. They show what a passion they have for the shirt, whether they're a lone player that's been here for two months, whether they're Louis Coyle or Jacob Greaves who's been here for near, over 10 years. They put passion in for the shirt. They ran themselves to the ground. They tackled, they fought, they played outstanding football. Um, but we just have a naivety in us at times that I'm trying so hard to eradicate. Um, you know, and, and that's a really, really difficult thing because now the reality is we need snookers. We need snookers to get what we all want to set out to achieve. But I know with this group and this club, we won't give up. And if we perform to that level on Saturday, uh, we should we have a great chance of being on the right end of the result. In your opinion, you mentioned snookers there. Is it five wins needed now? Do you feel realistically? Who, who knows? You never know in a championship. You can't put a points total on it. Um, we just need to win the next game. It's really simple. That's the hat focus has to be QPR and three days. And by the way, I thought the atmosphere was magnificent. I thought our fans stayed to the end, clapped us off the pitch. Were brilliant, you know. And it's a sickening one because again, I, I don't want to. I always sound when I come and do these interviews that I'm like, say I'm trying to protect the players. I, I can't. I won't ever lie. If the performance isn't good enough, the performance isn't good enough. Some of that stuff for championship level was absolutely magnificent, but we don't win. You know, and that's something that we have to, we have to put right moving forward. Because if we perform at that level for the next five games, we have a fantastic chance of winning all five games. Yeah, and definitely because I, we've seen it as staff and as fans, the, the pace in which the passing is, is, is intensified, which is making it even more pleasing on the other one it was before. Well, yeah, firstly, we've got a group of players who are learning to connect with each other. Ozan and Abdush and Fabio are starting to learn each other's game. It takes time. It takes time with new players to learn each other, to learn the system and what we want. But when it comes off, it's, it's a joy to watch. Pitch was brilliant today, suited us down to the ground and we played our football. And at times, I don't think Middlesbrough could get near us. We didn't take advantage. We didn't take advantage in the key moments and we created chances at 1-0 down, create a chance at 2-1 up, create a chances at 2-2, but just couldn't find the break it down and that's a really, really disappointing thing. And one on just the selections, etc. Coyle and Giles, was it a case of pre-planned 45 minutes each or no, did Coyle come off injured at no, half time? I, I don't do that. I don't pre-plan subs. They were both, honestly, they both put themselves in the picture to be in, um, to be in with the start, um, the shout of the start, Coyley. You know Coyley, what yeah. he's about. Um, but he true just, warrior. A true, a true warrior. I felt we needed a spirit today. It was a spirit game and I, he gave everything. And Gilo, to be credit to him, um, <laughs> Matty Jacob felt his calf warming up. Um, Gilo has been feeling his groin, but at this stage of the season, you've got to give everything. And unfortunately for us, Anas has felt his groin. Um, so he's tweaked it. So he may be out for a week or so, but this happens at this stage of the season. But I can't, I cannot discredit this group of players for what they're giving me, for what they're giving the club, but that we have to learn on the job and we just haven't done that today.